Okay, this is a massive one. Making your proposal part of your contract. We have always included as an attachment and referenced our proposals in our contract documents, specifically highlighting any special conditions. However, it wasn't until a few years ago that we realized the importance of it and how many issues this solves during construction. For years, we had been improving our original quoting document every time we received feedback from our clients. It soon grew into a large multi-page document that we started using as a specification when it came time to signing the contract with a client. This is how QuoteSpec started, as we were looking for a way to combine multiple spreadsheets, pictures, quantity takeoffs and cost, but in a way that we could present it to our clients as one cohesive document. So we decided to develop our own software to use purely in our own business. We used the software for a year or so in-house and the feedback we received from clients, designers and architects, together with the huge amount of time we had saved in admin was amazing. So we decided to name it QuoteSpec and take it to market. As we have mentioned several times, you need to treat your quote as a proposal. This should be some form or well-presented document with all your business details, the job details, the client details, and obviously descriptions, or I prefer scopes of works, for everything that will happen on and during the project. Enough detail that the client knows every single item that they're getting and every single finish that you have allowed for. Once you develop your own document or you start to use QuoteSpec, you need to start including these in your contract documents. What's the point of going to all the effort, providing the client with everything they need to know to make an educated decision during the preliminary stages and then not making any reference to it in your contract? We do this by listing it in the special conditions of the contracts we use. By making your proposal a legal part of your contract, you are making sure that the client and yourself have the document that has been agreed to in the preliminary stages and is now signed off and becomes the specification for the project. So, by now you should be starting to understand why I believe quoting should be taken more seriously and us builders should be paid a fee to provide it. Educate your clients, spend the time, put in the effort and provide the detail. You will save hundreds of hours a year combining so many different areas of admin into one document. Once your proposal becomes part of your contract, everyone in your team can work for this document. You can use this document to order fixtures and fittings. You will know what finishes are getting used. Your contractors know what they are doing. You can use it to supervise a job. You can use it to track cost and you can use it to refer back to when clients want to change things. If you spend the extra time on this upfront, you will get it back tenfold, I guarantee it.